welcome Shallow Water Ventures. I'm Keith. And I have a cold. So I'm going to make uh, Keith is going to be the one that's really going to talk to you today. Everybody just, uh, I, uh, you're just lucky I'm here at all. <laughs> yes, uh, the weather here in Utah, a little bit, uh, I don't know, Actually, cold, it was, snowy. it was warm, like 30 seconds ago, and then the sun went behind a cloud right there, and yeah. now it's cold. I'm glad it's I cold have, again. I'm glad I have my hoodie on under my mud buddy Well, you got your shirt. mud buddy shirt on, and then you've got your, your, my deep, deep, apparel. your deep apparel sweatshirt. Yes, it's and, a I'm, sweet and I'm sweatshirt. enjoying it. But with all the snow that's been around us, for those of you who weren't paying attention yesterday, we got bombarded. No, we got dumped. And and, and I know, I we had talked about this earlier, that we were like, oh yeah, we had a snow day, blah, 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 we're going to talk about it. But I knew that the moment... We uh, said anything. Everybody in the Northeast is going to be like, you two, shut up. Shut up. We don't want to hear anything about it. So, (laughs) yes, for Utah, 10 to 12 inches in one day in the valley is a lot of snow. 412 highway reported incidents yesterday. So I'm glad it was a snow day, but I actually did work from home. I was able to link up my laptop to... uh, my computer here at work, so I was able to take a few phone calls and yeah. and do some emails. No, you helped out a little bit. So, yeah. I actually got here. I got here about noon. I find they finally plowed my little parking lot, and I managed to get my little Ford Focus up and over the the snow drifts. It yeah. was pretty awesome. And it's funny. I live 45 miles north of here, and we had two inches of snow. I come down to work this morning. I'm thinking, holy cow! I'm sure glad I didn't have to go to work or venture through the 412 accidents. Yes. Because it's like it hadn't snowed all year, and everybody forgot here in Utah how to drive. How in to the snow. drive appropriately in <laughs> snow weather? Yes, they don't know how to drive appropriately in right. snow weather. Well, it's good. Well, it's nice. Well, I have a cold, so I'm pretty sure I'm I'm dying because I have a cold, Keith. And, and you were. But do you remember, Keith, the last time that <coughs> one of us had a cold? That was you, and you didn't show up. I didn't show up. You just left. I I was gone. Sorry. Well, for all of you who can support me in my cold, please like and share this uh, little episode. We really appreciate you walking, uh, watching with us today. We are going to be taking your questions, uh, but today we're going to um, we're going to talk a little more about some winterizing your motor um, and getting ready for the new season. Um, we've also got lots of updates that we're going to fill you in on. But before we do that, we're going to let people continue to. Uh, uh, join us here. So before we get to that cue, what uh, besides the snow, what is new? Nothing. Nothing. It's slowed down that's a little so, bit on the phone. <laughs> that's so boring. That's nice. you, I ask you this every week, and you're like, nothing. I, you know, I didn't do anything over the weekend. I'm still <coughs> kind of bummed about my Arkansas duck trip that didn't oh, go so yeah. good. But hey, there's always this upcoming season for another shot you know, at Arkansas or some other destination that I that's, might choose to take on. That's the nice thing about hunting season is that it always comes around again. Yes, it is. That's it's like a revolving actually. door. And you know what? <laughs> I hope my wife isn't watching. <laughs> I've already started spending money on the upcoming season. Yes, you have. Clint's like, Keith, you can't buy stuff already. I'm like, why? Hunting season's over. i got to start preparing for no, next year. All the little things that I... I think I need, I'm starting to buy now. Well, isn't it kind of like Christmas, too, that, like, afterwards, all the Christmas stuff goes on sale? Right. Yes. Afterwards. So, that's, that's what it you is. Know, it's so it's probably a good time. I'm constantly uh, trolling Rogers, Max Prairie, our good friends at Tangle Free, uh, Lucky Duck, some of those other ones, just, just kind of seeing what's out there, seeing what I, I need. What I you need, yes. Need yes. for next season. I get you. Very good. Very good. I, on the other hand, I had an adventure. Yes. And it didn't have anything to do with monster trucks. No monster trucks this No time? monster trucks this time. No, I was actually in California this weekend, which was a very interesting... So, uh, my family, we travel to uh, California quite frequently. Um, we go to, uh, like, San Diego. Yes, that's right, a beautiful Right, downtown, like, like the place. most temperate location in the United States. It is the nicest place. And it rained for 48 hours solid. That sounds uh, like a wonderful trip. It was the most ridiculous. I mean, I went to get away from all of this, and it was the west- worst weather I have seen in probably a decade. I think yeah. all your weather followed you back. It, no, it really did. Well, didn't you also say that you f- were flying to San Diego, 
and had to be rerouted <laughs> back to Phoenix because you couldn't land and you were low on fuel? That's how bad it was, is that we got near San Diego, and they were like, hey, they've closed the airport due to rain, and so we're going to circle the airport for about 45 minutes to see if it opens up and then land. And after about 45 minutes to an hour, they were like, yeah, we're out of fuel, so we're going to Phoenix. And so we landed in Phoenix and refueled and then flew back to San Diego, circled it a couple of times, and then finally got in about, a, about two and a so half hours later than we were supposed to. Was it worth it? Oh, no. <laughs> it rained the whole time. I didn't even get out on the beach. No I beach. was right there on the beach, and we looked at it from a distance while it rained and blew like some sort of freaking monsoon out there. It was the worst. That's a bummer. That would be a uh, bad. That's almost like my Arkansas trip. Almost as bad, almost as bad. as your Arkansas yes. trip. We had good food, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No We're comment good. on I, no good I'm not, I'm not gonna get into, go I'm not going to get into that. Okay. No, no, we won't get into that. In the meantime, let's see. I'm going to pull out and get <laughs> some... Uh... Oh, hey, that looks like a new phone. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> if I can get it turned on, this is this is Ambry's phone. and uh, Ambry upgraded. This Jeez. is the most fancy phone in the whole world. It's going to launch me into space. I, I don't even know how to turn it on, Ambry. How does it... She crossed over from the, the black side of Android to an iPhone. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, I got it. Okay. Woo. <laughs> I mean, I have an iPhone, but not the, the 10. 10. Ooh. Woo. So fancy. Okay, Don't drop here it in we the go. Water. I'm just gonna like toss it over my shoulder when we're done here. I actually got a new phone because Jeff complained about my phone every week, so <laughs> I actually did it for Jeff. They did it for uh, for me. When are you gonna do that? I don't know. I haven't looked at new phones I yet. I feel like I have said that I, to you I, a thousand times. I think I need more hunting stuff before <laughs> I need a phone. <laughs> Priorities, Keith. Yes, Priorities. exactly. Hunting. All right, here we go. Let's see. I've got Jeff Fuchs on. I got a snow day today. Yes, Jeff. Hey, I Jeff. see. We got it. And then he called us rookies. So everything I just said, I take back. Jeff, rude. Um, Robin uh, Sherman, hey guys. Hey, Robin. Uh, number one, drain the carburetor. I see she's already on yeah, it. She knows what's going she's on. She's on it. I got Frank Williams on. Um, he runs his boat all year. So you, and we're going to talk about that in just a minute, Frank. Uh, ben Hoffman, snow goose season. Now you guys got to get on it. We really do. If we could get any water unfrozen or anything. Jeez. Um, Oh, Mud Buddy after season sale. <laughs> Mud Buddy That's after funny. season sale. Call Clint. <laughs> Seriously. Keith, uh, Ron, Creighton Doc, before I come down, do me a favor, shovel the snow out of it. Okay, so everybody, we're standing in front of the salty. This is the salty right here. This is what happens. You miss one day of not putting the cover on it. Right. This is what happens. You end up with that, like, and this is Keith. Keith doesn't get to go home until he's shoveled it's all that out. It's going to be like a week before the... <laughs> The snow melt. <laughs> oh, seriously. Um, Jai Roger says it's 75 in Alabama today. Ooh, that would be nice. That would be nice. But he says tomorrow, 35. Ooh, <laughs> nice 40 degree little, plummet. A little oh. bit of a swing there. Very nice. Um, Jake Fawn, just order a 5,000 anniversary edition. Jake, you are going to crush that motor. That is the best motor, man. We, we love ours. Ooh, we love our Still got to get some more time on her, but she's doing good. I don't know. You just make sure you break that in properly. Yes. Um, let's see. T uh, Tyra Hansen, I'm bringing my boat down in the morning, Keith. Apparently people down. are just uh, having their conversations with you. I guess I'll just stand here and be your middleman <laughs> right here. Jeez. Um, I will let, before I go on, though, we've got lots of people, and I'm going to continue. But do, do send in your questions right now. We do have some good prizes. I want to thank all of our sponsors. Um, right here, we've got... Uh, XL, BPS, Lucky Duck, uh, Tangle Free, Camp Chef, Ducks Apparel, Deep Apparel, and Echo Calls. Um, those guys are the best. Check them all out. Uh, we've got lots of fun gear from all of these guys. Yes. We have um, some really nice Echo Calls that away. came in today. Gonna, I've got my uh, boxo, boxo, boxo treats here. I didn't know where to put it because it's snow covered out here. Snow covered. No so covered. should we talk a little bit about what's happening a week from Friday? Let's talk about what's happening a week from <laughs> Friday. Friday. So it is the Greater yes! Salt Lake yes. Sorry, I remember 2019 <laughs> Duck Calling Championship. Uh, we yeah. got. Uh, we're going to be there. Jeff and I will be there with Shallow Water Ventures with Ambry. Yes. We'll, we'll be doing a live there on Friday. <laughs> Um, afternoon, evening, and also on Saturday. It's also in conjunction with the um, 
But the hunting expo that the goes on will be upstairs. Yes. So stop by and see us. We do have three echo calls that we're going to be giving away. Uh -huh. One will be on a Facebook Live. One will be uh, for those who come in and say hi to us and sign out and uh -huh. fill out a little form. And also for the novice champion on Ooh, Friday yes. night is going to receive a nice echo call from Rick and the boys who sent those to us to... Uh, to kind of get their name out here a little bit more on the West Coast. And, Absolutely. Uh, they're beautiful calls. I was like, oh, I should have kept them no, for no, myself, but I didn't. They're really nice. Um, so that is in two weeks on Friday. I believe that's yes. the 15th. 15th and 16th. 15th and 16th at the Salt Palace, downtown Salt yes. Lake City. That's where we are going to be. Keith and I and the Shallow Water Adventure teams are going to be there. Um, we'll be there Friday night and Saturday afternoon sometime, but we'll post the exact schedule when we're going to be there. Come yes. on down and see us. Support the guys who are competing. It's going to be amazing. Yep. There, well, well, I think Travis Travis is going to be the MC from yes. PPS. Uh -huh. I believe he said there was like 75 callers or more wow. from nine different states. So it's yeah. going to be... It's a Pretty big, good, it's uh, a big deal. I believe some of them. I believe the championship of the pros. Uh, I think they go to Stuttgart. I think these guys are like this is the real deal. Here. And they've got three um, champions coming in to judge. So yes. they've got some heavy hitters coming in to judge, and some local guys from around here <laughs> that are going to share their talents. And it's yeah. going to be loud and noisy. It's, it's going to be <laughs> awesome. So come by, stop by, and see us. I have another announcement though too. Something really exciting. We get the, tomorrow off. Um, if you're me and have a cold, yes, you do. Um, no, in uh, the week after that, I am actually going to be at the uh, Catfish Conference in Louisville, Kentucky. And I, I will be doing a special Shallow Water Adventures live with... Uh, J. Paul Jackson, my good buddy J. Paul Jackson, oh. and DJ Spear, the head of the XL I'm, plant. I'm being replaced. You are. Now. I mean, we'll still have our regular Wednesday, yes, but on sure. that that uh, Friday or Saturday, I'll get you more information. But we will have a very special uh, Shallow Water Live from Kentucky. I hope the rain in three weeks. You. I know it probably will. <laughs> is it cold? A little. <laughs> it is freezing out here. I am going to give something away here, though. I don't know who, hold that, and I'm gonna find somebody to give our uh, camo systems away. Your camo systems? Camo systems is really awesome. This it's was actually premium. donated by Andy Johnston, the boat doctor. Oh, he yes. He already had one. Oh, yes, that's so right. he offered to give his away. <laughs> He's re-gifting it. Is that what <laughs> we're doing? He's re-gifting re it. So Thanks, well, Andy. I, Andy Johnston, he, he's actually on. Andy, that's really nice of you. And I, I, every time Amber comes in, she's like, quit giving stuff to Andy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to remember now. <laughs> Andy, the next time you come to the shop, you're going to have to introduce yourself to, <laughs> exactly. to Jeffrey come so up, he somebody. knows who you are. I've got, oh, he comes every year. He just doesn't stop by the shop. I know. He never comes and says hi. Um, Dale is on. Dale Chanel. Hey, Dale. Hey, Dale. What's um, up? How's that Arkansas weather? I'll bet the ducks are there now, aren't they, bro? Um, I've got Tim Heinz. I'm not. I probably butchered that name. I'm sorry. Hey, Tim. How's it going? I got Jackson Hill is on. Hey, guys, hope this storm yesterday didn't throw you off too much. You know, it really did. It did. <laughs> it threw us off more than anybody would care to admit. It's one of those things that, like, we had a really low snow year last year, so we've all really kind of forgot what it was like. And, you know, sometimes here in Utah, they'll make a big deal out of these storms. Right. And, like, four days before, they'll be like, everybody, the end of the world is coming, <laughs> all of this. And this one, they didn't say anything. No, it was it like... It was not a word. It just, like, showed up one day all of a sudden. So you can blame it on our weather people. They're 50% right and 50% wrong. You just <laughs> never know with them. A job I wouldn't want to have. But it did throw us off a little bit. So uh, thank you, everybody, for still joining us on a Thursday. On a Thursday. Because you can't have shallow water adventures on a Thursday. It's weird. It was our first District no. for my kid in the, since 1993. 1993 was, was the last time we had a snow day. Yep. So, like... It, it was new. It was it was tough. It was, Ambry, it was new. I, it was tough. It was horrible. I've noticed ambry has got a new dance going on over here. I think no, it's, it's keep so warm. It's so cold. I know. It's the keep warm <laughs> dance. I know. Um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> she she, she the... almost fell into the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so who's going who's gonna to win okay, our camo um, system? I'm going to give that to... You know, I uh, let's give it to Tim, Tim Hinch. That I butchered your name, Heinz. I'm not sure how it is, but Tim, uh, you are the winner of the camo system. Uh, if you will click the link at the top of this uh, post, fill out the info, and we'll get that sent off to you. Congratulations, and welcome. Uh, welcome to the shallow water. Josh, Josh Manny is on. Hey guys, I have a 2017 XL F4 with a 44 Black Death. 
with reverse, I need to sell. Let's see. I have prior. If anyone's interested, all right. Well, you know, you've got all these people on here. So if anybody is interested, yeah. If you're interested, look up. Uh huh. Josh Manning is there for you. Rick Hillicoss is on. Rick's good to see you again. Um, I can't even read this. I'm sh- I'm sorry to shake so bad. <laughs> hey, this was your idea to I be know. outside. <laughs> It's good for my cough. Okay, so, um, uh, Rick's got a good joke for us. How do you know you're from Michigan? I have no idea. You still drive 70 miles per hour in a blizzard? Yes. Yeah. They do that here in Utah, too. They really do. It was a little nuts coming to work this morning. <laughs> I was just I got in the slow lane like a little grandpa and no, the best. got here safe. <laughs> the best is when you're on the freeway in a blizzard and there's a little Miata <laughs> doing 70 <laughs> down the freeway. That's always my favorite. Andrew Quintana, what's the most important maintenance for the boat and motor? That's a perfect lead-in. Uh, Andrew, give hey. him something for the perfect lead-in. We're going to give him the duck strap. Andrew Quintana, duck strap for you. Click the link at the top, and uh, we'll get that sent off to you. From our friends at Tangle Free. <clears throat> most important thing you can do, um, there's a lot of things. You need to keep your oil changed every 25 hours. Yes. You need to get your valves adjusted every 50 hours. Um, oil filter, just general maintenance. The more you do it now, the less of a scramble you're going to have if you don't use it between now and duck season. And we get a lot of that here in Utah where they show up the day before and want it fixed and we just can't get them in. So Absolutely. it's just quick, simple little things. We've got some uh, instructional stuff on our YouTube channel at Mud Buddy that walks you through oil changing, oil belt, change. tensioning, belt tensioning. Belt tension. And those type of things. So. Absolutely. That kind of general maintenance. If yes. you have a question and those videos aren't helping you, you can always contact Keith. He'll walk you through some of those processes, get you uh, really set up. Yes. Also, what what is something besides those things, if there are some, uh, it's, I mean, fishing season doesn't kind of feel like it today. Yes. But fishing season <laughs> really is coming up, and we are starting to think about that and things that we're going to do. How should we be prepping our motor Motor, um, if you put on over 25 hours during duck season, I would do an oil filter change, okay. maybe fuel filter. Spark plugs I really wouldn't worry too much about, about every 50, 100 hours. They're cheap if you want to put them in. It's not a big deal. But definitely do the uh, the 25-hour stuff so you can keep it in top-notch shape. Yeah. Check your switches, your throttle cables, those type of things. Yes. Also, for your boat, you're going to want to make sure you've got, um, you know, all your water drained out. Just, yes. you know, check for check your seals, check all of that. And then, um, you know, something that we'll talk about in a little future is, is restocking your boat. In fact, um, if you want the best video was um, on... On this channel, just a little bit ago, Freddie King, our good our good buddy, did a video about how he lays out and, and puts everything in his boat. There, did you see he, that? Does he have a? I, it, yes. I think he's got a boat yes, in there somewhere. He's got or, a boat in there with all of his gear. <laughs> yeah. Where does everybody else ride? Or is it just Freddie by himself? No, it's just Freddie by himself. Freddie and his dogs. Yes. He has, no, he had he has a lot whole, of stuff in there. That yes. is so true. He's got a lot of stuff to organize. If yes. you're Freddie, you got to be very organized. So that's a great tip video. Um, go ahead and check that out. But uh, for fishing, we're going to get into the stuff that we're going to be adding to this boat and uh, where to get that stuff. That will be in a few weeks, which is going to be really fun. Yes, it's going to be fun. Yes. When it warms up a little bit. When it warms up a little bit. Absolutely. Um, all right. Let's see. Who else we've got? Uh... <laughs> Uh, people think they're funny. <laughs> they are. Um, Randy Smith, <clears throat> any new exhaust updates coming? Uh, we don't have any information no- on new exhaust. Nothing yet. Although, speaking of Freddie King, did you see his post today? I don't know if you all saw Freddie's post today. I didn't had, see it yet. No, it's, he, uh, it was a picture of an exhaust of the, the Q muffler, uh-huh. and it was in the cold, but it was all really hot, and so it's just multicolored. You know how it oh, gets all yes. that color, and he was like, taste the rainbow. <laughs> and people were like, yes, <laughs> lick it. <laughs> it, was a, it was a good picture. You, you go I, on I, go on and like that, everybody. It was, it was pretty good. Makes me makes me chuckle. Um, I will trade you one of my custom calls for a hat. Frank. You're on, Frank. Fra- hook me up. <laughs> yeah, hook Frank. You, up. you, you, you know our email. Yeah, it's our it's Keith at MudBuddy.com. We'll work something out there for you, bud. Kelly Andrews, really nice. Uh, get get something out of that box for Kelly Andrews. She's like, uh, we need some gloves. We absolutely do need some gloves. It is freezing out here. It's not that cold. It's nice <laughs> when the sun's not out. How about a Lucky Duck Tumbler. Yes. One yes. of our Kel- favorites. Kelly Andrew, the uh, Lucky Duck uh, Tumbler is for you, uh, Kelly. Grab that and uh, absolutely. Terrell Hansen, what is the, what's the best fuel supplement? 
What do you, what do we use? What do you, uh, what we, we be in use that? Um, stable here. Yeah. Um, another <laughs> one would be um, <coughs> sea foam, something like that. Okay. Just use a good fuel stabilizer. Now, are we all are year you, round? Are you using it every time you're filling? I up? would. Yes. Yeah. Doesn't hurt. Every time you're filling up with gas, you should be adding a stabilizer. Yes. Absolutely. It's off the Um my duck boat would look mighty fine with that. What's up, guys? Hey, that is uh, that's Michael Wade. Hey, Michael. What would it be look good uh, with? I don't know. He didn't. Um, I might have missed something along the way. Yeah. Um, uh, Chris Gita, uh, ducks suck East Coast this year. You're not the first person to say it that. Was, I, I think it was everywhere. My, I, let's all. Do, this is a general consensus. Yes, bad year. It was a bad year. Ge my, general consensus. My son-in-law was in uh, Colorado <laughs> um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Uh, shooting geese. They shot a few. The guide said last year they shot 1,500. This year, only 20, 250. Oh, so man. their goose season in Colorado was in the tank, just like everywhere tank, else. Just like yes. everywhere else, I know. So, uh, Johnny Briggs, East Texas, checking in. What's up, Johnny? Um, Jake Fawn, anybody run a raptor versus a hammer prop? What's your, what's your take on that? Um, hammer, <coughs> big horsepower, same thing with the Raptor. Um, Raptor seems to do really well in deep water. Um, lighter loads, the hammer, yes. heavy loads. Yes. Deep uh, mud. So that Raptor is kind of a, a newer to us. Prop. Yes. That's, and it's a Mercury. Right, where it's a Mercury three it's blade. It's a Mercury three blade And we're going to be running it on the salty yes. here as soon as the, as the soon weather as breaks. As we can get out. We're really excited to try that. So yes. we'll, we'll be bringing you a little more info on prop. You know, prop madness. Yes. You know, we just did the prop off. We're we're big. We're big with props. We like you know, props. We like we like that. We'll so. do a little uh, do a little speed testing with them. <laughs> some RPM testing. So we'll do that with all with the uh, with the big blade, the hammer, and yeah. the new uh, Raptor. Absolutely. Rob Rasmussen needs a treat out of that box too. I see a frozen throttle cable in the background. <laughs> I'm not sure there is a throttle you, cable in the back. You absolutely do. It is. I'm sure it is frozen back there. And we all know how we should be fixing yes. frozen throttle cables, yes. don't we? Yes. There's certain ways you should, and there's certain ways you shouldn't. Yes. But now would be a good time to get that unfrozen. Yes. Oh, there's the sun. Yes, see? it's right in my eyes. Oh, it's like yeah. Squinting. That's nice. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Grab something out of there what, for Rob. What is, what, let's see. What do we got here? <coughs> you see that, everybody? I'm just, it, the cold is just so bad. I just, I shouldn't even be here, what everybody. Size is, what size is Rob? <laughs> Rob, what size are you? Rob, send me your size, and we'll get, what, uh, we got a shirt? I got, I got a medium and a large shirt. Okay. I just, I just need a size. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll try and get, Rob, we're going to try and get you a shirt, Rob. If you will, uh... Click uh, the link above. We're going to get that off to you, but you got to send me your size. Yeah, for we that. need a size. Okay? We've got an extra large or a medium. Yes. Not too many guys I know that wear medium. Well, Jeffrey does. I do. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> um, Ambry, Jeff Fuchs wants to know if you've got any jokes. <laughs> no jokes. Sir. No jokes. I don't know. I could probably come up with one. Yeah, PG. <laughs> okay. Pretty um, good. <laughs> Max Montgomery, how often do you change the oil in the transmission? Um, about every 50 hours. That's the transmission yeah. oil. And the yes. transmission oil. You know, and, and it wouldn't hurt to also when you do a 25 hour oil change on the motor, pop off the back cover and check it just to make sure. Yeah. Just preventative maintenance. Absolutely. Okay, so what about if you're running a much older motor? How much more may should be should you be doing these maintenance checkups more often or should you stay with that same I would stay with the twenty five to twenty five hours. hours. Yeah. The oil I would do twenty five hours. Okay. The rest of it every fifty. And our older motors about the same. Yeah. They're they're good. Great. Um, will a mud motor run and perform fine on open water? I live on uh, in North Carolina coast. Yes. Yeah, I absolutely will. Yes. The, they're great. In fact, we uh, we use ours on on a pretty large lake. Yes, our, our really our frequently. Provo, Utah Lake. I call it Provo. Utah Lake is a Utah pretty lake. deep lake once you get yeah. going and out there and it runs good yes you can take these uh, we take them out on the great salt leg i mean they're they're they do great in in big water now you want to be careful on some you know some of these yeah. other boats these flat water boats but uh no the motor runs really great on big big water um what do you recommend for a gas additive in the cold temps that's from rod loeffler from who rod. rod rod we're going with tango free yes, one of my rod, favorite sponsors 
This is the up to fade. Looks like marsh. I mean, no, lied. It's not the marsh. It's a timber. <laughs> this is timber. It's a little dark, isn't it? <laughs> it, it you, the sun's in your eyes. The sun's in my eyes. <laughs> um, I, I would say uh, sea foam would be a good one, and I think the um, yeah, the sea foam's pretty nice. What's the other one? I we just stable. Stable. Yeah, I couldn't reflect. Uh, yeah, stable. So let's say the phone number right now. Eight zero one three five two eight zero one one. Got it. I nice think. job. Good work. Thanks. So we're going to go with the Tangle Free Hat. Tangle Free Hat. Rod, click the link above, and we will get that off to you. They're one of those companies I stock on a regular basis. Yes. And not like stocking the shelves. Like no, no, no. Stocking, stocking your what ex. my checkbook will, <laughs> or my cash flow will let me purchase. Um, K- Casey, <laughs> Casey Brady says he's in Costa Rica. What are you doing there? Casey... I'm gonna need pictures of proof. I, don't know. I mean, <laughs> I want to. I want to see you on on the beach laying out with the. What are you drinking, Costa Rica? I don't know. The mai tai of some sort. I don't know. Jeff Fuchs, run a motor cover to keep everything dry. Switches. That is absolutely true. And yes. this is what happens when you don't put a motor cover on. You think you're safe one day, and you're not. Yes. And you end up with a boat full of snow. Stupid. This is your fault. I pretty much blame I, you. I was out of town. So where were you? <laughs> Homesick yesterday. Where were you? (laughs) Getting rained on in California. Uh, Do you recommend a blended or synthetic oil? Um, This is from Randy Smith. Randy, you can go either way. I mean, we've got guys that use uh, Uh full synthetics. We've got guys that use multi-grade. Full synthetics, great oil. Both of them are. Just use a good 10W30. Um, High zinc is what we would recommend, something with a high zinc. Um... VR1's good, Royal Purple, and then there's all yeah. the multi-grades. Just run a good high zinc oil. Absolutely. Luke Powell says, if you take care of your boat, it will take care of you. Nobody likes heading out, and the boat won't start or run right. Very frustrating. That is very, literally our, very our motto. That is, the, to, that is advice uh, we live by, Luke. We're going to go with another. Luke, oh, Luke. oh, that's the, that's the waterproof the tangle waterproof free. waterproof tangle yeah. free. That's a good one. I tangle, like that one. Tangle freeze. I mean, they're all good. They're um, all good. But this is a good. nice one. I like that one. There's I, no extra mud on this one like the first one we had. <laughs> I don't have one Dave's of those. That's, that's why I like it. That's I, why I, I gave it away. I it's need like one. You can't have it. <coughs> was that Luke? That was Luke Powell. Uh, okay. Let's see. Can you pull a motor cover out of that box? <laughs> oh, I need to. I don't have one in, no, the, in my magic we, box. No, nothing this, in the you're magic like, box. Uh, you're like Mary Poppins over there. Just start pulling <laughs> things out of yeah, your bag. Yeah, we need to. Well, we needed to pull it out on Wednesday. Yes. <laughs> Not to, yesterday. Yeah, I know. Tuesday, now it's too yes. late. We got to leave it open so all the snow can melt out of it. Well, it's a fire uh, it up. Let the snow melt off. And put the cover on it. Like uh, and share, guys. Like Gary, and yes, share. like and share, everybody. If you like, and uh, give us your your comments. Also, I did put the link again for the uh, survey that we're taking. For the summer edition of season two, um, times and days. If you've got a second, please go on and fill that out if you haven't already. Um, it's three questions. Really w- simple. What time is best for you? What day is best for you? And whatever else you want changed. And we hope what's best for you is best for us because we're going to go with what we. That is absolutely true. But if we can, you know, if, if we need, if to... it works out, yes. we want we want to make it best for everybody. Um, we got Max Neneman from Arkansas checking in. Oh, I got Richard back from Richard Rollo from Southern Utah. How's the weather down there, Richard? I, I think they've been getting dumped on too. Yeah, I think so. I hope so. No, oh, they deserve it. <laughs> they have all that nice weather during the summer. <laughs> David Millerson, love my new motor. David, that's awesome. David, send me some pictures, man. David, I want to see you and your do new we motor. Have a hat for him? We sh- we sure do. Oh, this is maybe we can switch it up. I know. I feel like. We've got a Sitka hat. Yeah, Sitka we'll, we, hat. We can change it from Dave, Excel. You need that. Dave, you need that little hat. We'll go from Excel to Mud Buddy. We'll change it to a Mud Buddy hat. Very Unless nice. he has an Excel boat. All right. Well, either way, David, yes. click that link and we'll get that off to you. First time I'm able to watch live. Love the show. Thanks for all the tips. That's Hayes Goodson. We've got a hat for you, too. Give him that. Uh, let's do one of those hats, that same hat the there, same too. Hat, Excel. Yes, another one of those. And that um, that's for, for Hayes Goodson. Click the link above. Um, watching live is it maybe it's because Thursday's a better day Thursday, I don't know I don't know there's only one way we know and that's if you go fill out the survey above all right okay moving on before we dive before the frostbite sets in I just ordered a 50 HDR pro hole and a pro hole my HD 
always ran it out of fuel. What is the process for EFI for winterizing? Do not drain the fuel system on an EFI. Yes. Run a stabilizer in it, but do not drain it. Carbureted versions drain. EFI do not drain. Do not drain. It. And that's straight from Briggs and Stratton. Yes. That's their recommendation. Recommendation: Do not drain. Don't drain the it. fuel Leave system fuel on an there. EFI. Yes. So, how, d maybe he needs a Mud Buddy HDR shirt. Because right. he's got a new uh, a new setup. Yeah, and sure. Who is that Just for? That's for Kelly Andrew. Um, he needs. He definitely needs a shirt. He needs a shirt to go along with that. Sure. Kelly, click the link above, and uh, we're gonna get that sent off to you. Uh, make sure you add your size yes. to that. Compliments of Keith and Jeffrey. Um, Nicholas Emerson looks like Jeff needs to clean all the snow off the boat. I think so. I have a cold. I thought I was pretty sure about that I was dying. I'm not going to be able to clean the snow He's off. He's not dying. If I'm not here next week, we all know what happened. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> pretty sure. You'll just be replaced. I'll just be somebody else standing <laughs> next to me. <laughs> Hammer or Big Blade? For the 5,000. Hammer or Big Blade? For a 5,000 EFI, you could maybe, you could go with the you hammer. Can, you could do the hammer. We haven't run it on our 50 yet. Something that we're going to try out. We know the big blade works good big with heavy loads great, and mud. But we have not tested that motor no. with the hammer. So it's possible that other people, if you've got some, um, if you've got information on that, let us know. Yeah, sure. But personally, I, we don't have any info for you on that. We are generally fans of the big blade, but the hammer with that 5,000 yeah. could be really excellent. Um, Nate Lane, first time watching. Hey, Nate, welcome. Welcome to the shallow water. Yes. Glad to have you welcome. with us. And deep um, snow. <laughs> <laughs> Reese Montgomery, I love my mud, but I need a hat to go with it. Boy, Whoops. when people ask. I don't know about that. I give him one. Yeah, Reese. Reese, click the thing. We'll get you a hat. Just because you love your mud, buddy. But you better wear that sucker. You better wear we, it everywhere. We need photos and I, and when I need you picture. Get it. I need picture proof of you wearing We're it. Wear it loud and proud. Oh, Nate Lane says I've had my rig on Lake Superior. Wow, that makes us on the Utah Lake a little look like we're in a bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> Lake you Superior. You can keep running your boat on the Lake Superior. I'm not going to come out with you. You know, I I would also love pictures of of your rig out on Lake Superior. That I would love to get out there sometime. Um, a big what's up from East Arkansas from Max. Agree with the older motor still being great. My 2010 35 HD Sport runs like it came out of the shop yesterday because of good maintenance. Yes. Ma it's you know, great maintenance, work, guys. Maintenance will save your bacon when you pull up to the ramp when you have taken care of it versus the guy who shows up at the ramp and his first time he's going to fire it up and it's not going to fire <laughs> Freddy. Don't, don't be <laughs> that. Kidding. Don't be that guy, man. Do not be the guy holding up the ramp. No, if everybody else wants the ramp. to run over. That's exactly right. Don't make be that guy trying to get it. Make sure it's running the night before and get that done, not the morning of. All especially right. at three in the morning. Here's a good one that we may not have time for today, but this is a really great question and one that we've gone over. That, and and Bra this is from Brady Ryman. Riemann or Ryman, I'm not sure which how to pronounce it. He says, I love my XL. Just wish I had more info on the 5,000 versus the 4,000. I need to upgrade. So this is kind of, a, we've talked a lot about this on other shows, the difference between the 4,000 and the 5,000. Um, so maybe the best thing that we could do is maybe, you know, just uh, give Keith a call, shoot him an email, and yeah. he can really spend some time and really dig into it. Because that's going to depend on... You know, the loads you're running, where you're going, your boat size, all sorts of stuff are going to be wrapped into that little discussion. So, so it's it's Keith at MudBuddy.com, or the number is 801-617-1083. That's my direct line. And I can patch you over to Jeffrey if you need more help. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you sure can. <laughs> Michael Wade, ever ran nitrous on a Mud Buddy? No, I never have. No, I've run I them on have. my cars and my four wheeler years and years ago when I was young, <laughs> but uh, not on a mud buddy. Not on a mud buddy. If you do it, we want to see <laughs> pictures. <laughs> yes, I would like to see it. Thoughts on changing motor oil weight in accordance to sub freezing weather? Currently using 5W30 Mobile One full synthetic 5W30 versus 10W30. I think that's okay. Is that okay? The, uh, Is I mean. For the weather, the for cold the weather, weather, the cold weather. Yeah, yeah. you'd be all right with that 5W30, maybe. 
Uh, Jason Budnack will uh, work prop work better than a stock prop on a modified mud buddy. You know, I've never run a work prop, so I really don't know. I mean, our big blade's a great all-around prop. Yeah. Um, work work blades. You just have to talk to the guy who works the blades. I really don't know what advantage there is to it. I know if you've got damaged props and doing that kind of stuff, they can help you out and fix them. But that's about. I really don't know. I don't. All we right. don't have anybody around here in Utah yeah, that, that does much. That does I know there's a the few guys props, in yeah. Louisiana that do it, but nothing. nobody around here. So Right. Okay, listen. So yeah. Connor uh, Carmody is asking the same thing, that, that info, uh, 40 versus 50. So maybe next week, we do maybe we need, we'll maybe need to get into a little bit of okay. that, everybody. And if not... It, I think that's, a, that's probably a thing that we need to discuss a little more. Again, can, it's uh, been a while. Yes. So we'll maybe do that, everybody. So stay tuned, and we're going to get more info going on that. Can I order a new handle and it fit on my 2015 motor? That's from. I know they're working yeah. on some stuff now to try to help convert them, but it's right. a slower process. Okay. You know, so everything can be made to fit. It takes a little time. All right. Um, uh, Richard Rouleau, yes, he says it's cold down there in southern Utah. Um, Lane Hall, Ambry is not complaining it's cold. Does she have a heater? No, she is She's complaining, dancing. everybody. <laughs> no, no, we... she has done plenty of complaining so far. I don't... It's uh... a lot of this <laughs> and jazz. Running the parking lot back and forth. <laughs> everybody do the Ambry. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you could have seen what we're seeing and try not to laugh, you would understand. She's cold. Uh, Trust me. Yeah, it's Her cold. Sleeves, she doesn't have these cool little uh, sleeves like we have on our deep apparel hoodie that I have on but you can't see she's got her little hands wrapped up in her sleeves and trying to stay warm and dancing around yeah like she's 24 and a mother <laughs> of two switched out my straight pipes to a Q muffler love it good Did job not notice a difference in horsepower 20 foot boat uh, that's that's great I love those Q mufflers that's awesome. yes the, the twins in the old days were nice but man they were insanely loud yeah, they were loud. The guys hated when we used to run the motors in the shop because it was so loud. They hated them. They usually like, Keith, run those before we get to work or after we leave <laughs> yeah. because they were horrible. Josh Murphy, what's the best exhaust option for making a mud buddy as quiet as possible? Um, besides stock would be the Q muffler. That Q muffler is yep. going to be your best. The best one. Quietest. Yep. Yes. Um, Jared Goble, currently run a hammer prop and a big blade. On my 55 HD Sport with the 1751 XL, would I get better performance with the Mercury 3 blade? It's a 1751. What size motor was it? It's again? a 55. Um, it'll be good for deep water. I, I it'll think, be a yeah. good prop. Yeah. No, it would. It'll, it'll move you. Yep, it'll do. It'll I, do so, what yes, you want I it think to you do. ought to try that that Mercury 3 blade. I, I mean, it's meant to be a really great all-round, great in the mud and great out of the mud. Right. Uh, first year with the 1751 and Mud Buddy 5000. Awesome setup, awesome motor. John, that's awesome. Appreciate it. Um, Travis is, oh, Travis is on. He's hey, answering Travis. questions. So, all the rest of you, we're going to say it again. Um, in two weeks, we are going to be, uh, Keith and I and Ambry, the, the uh, shallow water team, we're going to be at the, the Utah National Greater Duck. Water. Duck calling championship. We're butchering the mess out of them, but sorry, Travis. <laughs> Travis has got more information. We want you all to stop by. We are going to be there Friday and Saturday. That's the 15th and 16th. Come on down. Um, say hi to us. We're going to be supporting um, the. On Friday, it's the amateur calling championship, yes. and on Saturday is the pros. It's going to be really, really fun. We've got some stuff to give away. We're going to be there like some sort of jumped up radio host. It's yes. going to be awesome. We're going to have so, shirts, hats, yeah. echo call for the people who come in. Yes. For the Facebook Live, there'll be an echo call. And for our That's just novice. one. Not, not for everybody. Not who for comes everyone. In, we're going to have one. one. Sorry. Yes, for people Rick's, who come in. Rick is a great guy at echo calls, but he's not going to give us one for everybody. But he gave us three really nice. We've got a meat hanger, an XLT, and I can't remember the name of the other one. And uh, they're all three yes. nice looking yeah, they're going to be nice great calls. calls. So if you have any questions about that event, um, keep an eye on uh, this social media channel. You can also talk to Travis, who is on with us and is answering questions yes. way faster than we are getting Travis at BPS can help you out with yes. that. He's going to be the MC that night at the great, at the Salt Lake. Was it? Oh, Salt, 
Ugh. Salt Palace. Salt Palace. The Palace. Okay. Oh, Brandon Webb is on. Hey, Brandon. Good to see you again. Um, Becky Miller Coin. Hello from Missouri. Um, Mud Buddy all the way for Brandon Seeley. What's up, Brandon? Marcus Mayer from Wisconsin is on. Um, <laughs> Gary Harrington. Travis Madden is winning. That's because Travis is always winning. winning. You know, I'm pretty sure everybody's pretty sad that Travis is not here and that you are. I think it's the other way around. <laughs> so, the first person who says they wear a medium, I have a medium BPS yes. t-shirt. I wear a medium! No, you can't win. Sorry. <laughs> if you were crap. nice, you could win. Well. You don't want to be nice. No, so I've never been nice. No winny for you. Oh, uh, Becky Miller Coin, can you guys make duck sounds? I didn't bring my call out with me. I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> with my call. I... <laughs> I don't Brandon, know. I, I really can't. Brandon Seeley, you'd wear the medium BPS. Oh, yeah, Brandon Seeley na nailed it. Make sure you go up at the top of the uh, page, click on the link, fill that out, put down the BPS medium white shirt, and that is yours, brother. Yes. Compliments of Travis, <laughs> Glade, Jamie, Corbin. Who am I missing over there? I don't, I don't know. Jen. Jen. <laughs> Oh, Miguel. Miguel, and that's who it was. I was like, Carlos. Yes. Yeah, great bunch of guys over yeah, there. Yeah, those guys at are Backwater awesome. Performance. They're really awesome over there. Lane Hall, Keith, just turn around and dig something out of the box for me. <laughs> no, Lane, no. That's not how it works here. It's an extra large, deep apparel. <laughs> I suppose that is how it works here. It, it does today because this is the last thing. <laughs> oh, got it. So this is I the last know, one. The sun's going down. <laughs> Embry's dancing faster and faster. All right. Lane, that is for you. That Click yours, the link Lane. above. We're going to get that sent off to you. One Look. of our great sponsors. We're going to be doing some uh, stuff with uh, fishing here coming up soon. Yes. It's a little we bit got, warmer. Oh, man, that's going to be awesome. Luke Powell also just said Rick Dunn is top notch. Not many better in the business. I don't think so. He's that a is great guy. absolutely and true. You, you know what? Every time we do a little promotional thing and ask Rick, he is. The stuff show, I called <laughs> him on Friday. The stuff was on my desk Tuesday morning. It's amazing how fast those guys are. Yeah. And they build great, great calls. So okay. Have a great suggestion. Okay. Play rock, paper, scissors as a loser. Has to, has to clean the boat. That's a not a good idea because you know what? That is I've a lost terrible everything. idea. <laughs> I've lost every time. Well, now when you because I've been sa you I've been sabotaged. Clean. When you yeah. put it that way, no, nope, maybe. Nope. But if anybody wants to come and clean the salty, <laughs> you're more than welcome. If you're local, and we'll take you for a ride. We'll show you what that fifty will do when the weather gets warm. <laughs> Maybe you could go on a, sh a uh, fishing adventure with us. Yes. All right. Uh, that all sounds fun. All right. We are going to leave it there. Yes. That was uh, that was a good one. That, that made me laugh. I had some funny <laughs> things happen to that. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Um, again, if you have questions, um, you can absolutely send those off to Keith. Uh, that's Keith at MudBuddy.com. Um, he absolutely loves to help you out and he has literally nothing better to do in his whole life. So nothing. send him questions on that. <laughs> um, next week we're going to be back at our regular time on Wednesday at 3 p.m. Please take a moment fill out the survey that's at the top. Let us know what you're thinking as far as days and times. We do want to try and accommodate as many people as possible. Um, remember we're going to be at the Salt Palace in a couple of weeks. That's on a Friday and Saturday. And then the week after that we're going to have a very special live um, straight from Kentucky. You get to go to Kentucky? Yes, I'm going to Kentucky. We're going to do a special live from there. Um, so tune into that. There'll be more information coming. Last things last and best and most important. I said that really weird. No, I, I apologize. Like and share. Like and share and go and check out all of our incredible sponsors. We're so appreciative of them. That's uh, XL Boats, Backwater Performance Systems, Lucky Duck, Echo Calls, Tango Free, Camp Chef, whom we love and, and appreciate, and I've got some big things coming up. Ducks, Deep Apparel, and of course our friends at Echo Calls. Echo Calls. So check all of them out. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week right here in the shallow water. <laughs>